Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of this mini-series which features the project Volkswagen Golf. The video that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be refurbishing the alloy wheels DIY style. Um, I don't have a spare £500 to spend on having the wheels recut and considering that that's more than what I paid for the car I'm going to have a crack at doing it myself. So this is not a tutorial. This is a DIYer having a go at refurbishing his wheels. So let's go and see how we get on with it. So while I'm giving the wheel a wash, I'm going to talk about the tools that I'm going to use to do this. First and foremost, you're going to need a rotary polisher. Doesn't need to be an expensive one, as long as it's a rotary polisher with an adjustable speed. Secondly, I'm going to use the Paint Gear Diamond Cut Repair Pack. Now I'll put a link to this in the description. And what it is, is it contains everything that you need to do this job. You've got your five inch backing plate. You've got four of each of these sanding grit discs, which are 120, 180, 320 and 400. You get four grey and four red scotch pads. And all this comes in at 19.99. Now, in terms of the wheels here, um, the brake dust was ridiculous on these. The brakes were seized on when I picked the car up. And as you may have seen right at the start, the barrels were orange. And as you can see now, with a good hit of fallout remover, they've started to clean up quite well. The whole point in getting the wheel cleaned is that essentially we're going to be putting paint down on it. And we don't want to be having to sand through dirt to get to the surface that we want to sand. So you need to give the wheel as thorough a clean as possible. So what I'm using is again paint gear, fallout remover. And once I've given this a good scrub up at this point, I'm then going to hit it with a little bit of snow foam. And it's a squid ink alkathroth snow foam. So that's a high alkaline content snow foam. And once again, I will just agitate that up once I'm done to get the wheel as clean as possible before I take it inside to start working on it. So in this instance, I'm actually going to be dealing with some corrosion in the barrel of the wheel as well, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. And if you're curious about how to get the good old raspberry ripple effect, fallout remover, let it do its thing, a little bit of snow foam over the top, and then just let it run off and see that effect. All right, so now that we've got the barrel all kind of scuffed up, we've got rid of any corrosion that was in the barrel, we're going to move on to getting the faces sanded down. Now, this is never going to get that kind of rainbow looking cool diamond cut effect back that you can kind of slightly see here well I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera but I can see it with my eye but as you can see the lacquer is flaking off the corrosion has come right through the lacquer the wheels are an absolute mess and short of paying 120 quid per wheel to have them recut and refinished um, I'm going to make the best out of a bad situation I'm going to sand down the diamond cut areas I'm going to work through the sandpaper grades and bring them back up to a nice polished finish and then I'm going to repaint the wheel. Now, I'm not going, this isn't a tutorial on how to do it because it's only the second time that I've done it. Um, everything that I've learned from this I got from another YouTuber called CVR POV. Now he does this on a daily basis. Um, so if you want to learn how to do it, check out his channel, but if you want to see me having a go at it and seeing what kind of results that you might get as a first timer doing this sort of thing, then stick around and let's see how we get on. Basically he sells a kit and in that kit comes all, everything that you need to refinish your diamond cut alloys and that's exactly what I'm using. I bought the kit and I'm going to crack on with it and see how we get on. So no more messing about. Uh, let's just get on with it. Thank you. 
All right, so that's my first pass with the, the big sanding disc done. Now, what you'll maybe have noticed is that I've not got right into the center cap area. Um, being, this being my second wheel doing this, I don't feel overly confident going down there with a five inch rotary. So thankfully for me, I've got the KD incline, which I've essentially cut down a sanding disc to fit it. I've got the extension bar on for the rotary attachment and it's going to allow me just to get right down into the areas nice and easily that I need to get into to get rid of the corrosion around about the centre cap and it's actually really helpful for going round the rim uh, round the uh, round, right round the, the outer rim and not mangling the tyre with, with a big 5 inch um, because I'm not taking the tyres off for this particular job so I don't want to be ripping them to shreds with uh, the rotary. So we'll get this finished and then that's round one of sanding. There's four rounds of sanding with the machine followed by three rounds of wet sanding by hand. So it, I mean it can, it can be a long process. I'm taking my time doing it because I want to make sure it looks good. Uh, if you were just doing this for you know, if you're on a PCP in your hand in your car back and you don't want the alloys to look ruined, uh, you could probably buzz around this pretty quickly just doing the faces, uh, fire some lacquer on them and you're good to go. But I'm going to be taking a little bit more time doing this. So obviously I will speed up the sanding process for your viewing pleasure and we'll check back once we're finished doing the sanding. Alright, so that's us. We've went through the, the grits in the kit, face of the wheel in terms of the diamond cut area. It's looking so much better, so much nicer. Really happy with the level of finish that came out there. But we are going to take it a little bit further. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first off, I'm going to do 800 grit wet and dry, 1500 grit wet and dry, and I'm going to finish off with 2000 grit wet and dry to give as much of a polished finish as possible and then I'm going to hit it with some heavy cut polish and a heavy cut pad to really try and just buff that up to looking as shiny as possible before we key up the rest of the paintwork with uh, some scotch pad, repaint the inside of the barrel and then get it all lacquered and we'll be good to go. We'll be good to get this back on the, back on the car and looking tasty. Okay, so I've went through, I've now went through the wet sanding stages up and the only one I've got left to do is a 2000 grit wet sand. So in terms of the 800 and the 1500, 
I used a hand sanded it. Uh, luckily, in terms of 2000, I've got a disc that I can attach to the rotary, so it's going to make light work of any finishing sanding that's going to be left to do. But we'll have a look at the wheel once the sanding's done, and once I'm finished sanding, I'm going to polish it. I'm then going to scotch up all the painted areas, because it's all going to get fresh lacquer, and then I'm going to tape up the diamond cut areas that I don't want to get any paint on. And we'll go through how I do that in, um, in the final painting process once we're ready to do that. So now that I've went through the polishing stages, or all the sanding stages and the polishing stages, I'm really happy with the finish that's on the wheels at the moment. Um, the only thing I'm going to finally do is give a panel wipe to get rid of any polishing residue that may be stuck on the spokes and then I'm going to start keying up the paintwork. Um, once I key up the paintwork we can then think about getting everything all masked up. Start putting some primer down in the back where we've had to do the um, corrosion repairs. Uh, we'll primer that, colour it, and then lacquer it. Well, we'll lacquer the full wheel at the same time, but we'll primer that and colour that separately. And because the the in in between the spokes and the spokes the, the faces will just be getting clear coat lacquer, whatever you want to call it, and everything that I'll be doing. I don't have a compressor so everything's going to be rattle can finish and we'll see just how good we can make this look. Like I said earlier on in the video, this is by no means a tutorial. <laughs> this is simply me trying to be cheap and uh, get my project car back on the road with some good looking wheels without spending more money on a wheel refurb than what I paid for the car. So we'll see what the finish looks like as soon as we're done. Alright, so I'm going to use um, the grey scotch tape, uh, grey scotch pad to key up the paint. Uh, now, it's really important that you key up the paint. If you don't key up the paint, the new lacquer that you put down, it's not going to have anything to stick to, and it's just going to end up peeling and flaking off and looking shit. So, key up the paint, uh, prep the spokes with tape. As you can see, they're looking shiny AF super happy with how they're looking right now and then we'll get on with some painting all right everyone so we've got the wheel all colored primers done colors done cleaned up the face and in between all the spokes down here uh, everything's all keyed up ready for lacquer so we're just going to get the show on the road to get the lacquer done uh, flip the wheel up and get the barrel lacquered up and then we'll see how it looks afterwards I'm uh, super excited about this because already it's looking really good and I'm really happy with it
going so the the wheel is finished um, it's far, far from perfect but I'm really happy with how it's turned out so I've got I got all the lacquer on it it's all dried it's all hardened finished the tire off with some GT tire serum just because the car has sat for over a year the tires aren't in the greatest shape and I'm just going to use the tire serum to try and rejuvenate them a little bit I'll use that um, once or twice a month just to try and bring a bit of life back into the into the tyres but anyway without further ado let's go and take a look at how we got on and this is it this is the wheel like I said it's a far shout from being perfect or factory but I'm really happy with the finish and I think it's going to look great on the car it's certainly going to look a hell of a lot better than those ugly oxidised rims that were on it anyway. So like I mentioned earlier, this is by no means a tutorial, so please do not take it that way. This was me following somebody else's tutorial to see how a DIYer like yourself might get on if you want to try and restore your wheels, for example, before selling your car, or if they really are that bad and you don't fancy paying five, six hundred quid to have them refurbished this is how you might get on um, I'm certainly not a professional painter or anything like that um, this is a far cry from my day job and I'm really happy with the results that I got so I hope you've enjoyed the video if you like this kind of content there's going to be a lot more golf stuff coming um, so yeah please do hit that subscribe button hit the like button thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one